Like many around the world in September, students in Gaza are supposed to be back to school. But how can they do so when there are no schools to be back to and they're still going a genocide of harsh assignments to survive? As part of its quest to erase any aspect of civil life and to make the Gaza Strip uninhabitable, Israel has systematically targeted the education sector, killing more than 6,000 students, teachers and academics. It further blocked an entire year, depriving more than 700,000 students of their basic right to education, including 625,000 school students. Despite being protected under international law, at least 85% of schools in Gaza, aka shelters sought by Gazans in every aggression, have been completely destroyed since the eruption of the genocide. The Israeli atrocities, which neither the governmental nor honor educational institutions were spared, extended from bombarding them to raiding them, turning them into military barracks and detention centers, and using the Palestinians displaced inside them as human shields. War crimes which children of life don't try to evade or even deny. On the contrary, they proudly take credit for massacring hundreds of Palestinians sheltering in these institutions, or blowing up universities such as Al-Isra University and the rest of the other universities and colleges in the Gaza Strip that will remain irrefutable proofs for these barbarian crimes. اسمي لؤي تامر المصري من بيت حنون اشتقت لمدرستي ولاصحابي ولاولاد عمي مدرستي انقصفت نفسي تخلص الحرب النزوح ونرجع على مدرستي وتخلص الحرب نروح سالمين امين الى بيوتنا With the collapse of the education system and a year of education deprivation many entities have been struggling to make up for that deprivation and save the generations in Gaza Many organizations have voluntarily started what can be fairly described as tent schools. The Ministry of Education and Higher Education have planned to help students enroll in online virtual classes. But could that work when students have no devices, lack the least means to electricity and internet, and are literally escaping killing by an unrelenting war machine?